your news on the go. Topping your news on the go, the Syracuse University students who have been protesting by sitting in at the Barnes Center on campus have chosen to end their occupation of that building. So organizers announced the decision last night. The group says it's far from being done with pushing for change, though. It's still calling for the resignations of Chancellor Kent Siverud as well as a few others. Well, Syracuse police detectives are now beginning their investigation more than three weeks after a swastika and some other markings that were painted on the pavement outside the Cecil Community Center in the Valley neighborhood were found. Both Mayor Walsh says that was just found about the, he found out about the vandalism on the property two days ago. City staff, though, followed protocols and immediately covered up the graffiti as soon as they found it. Mayor Walsh, though, wants to revisit the policies, wishing the staff had contacted police. Well, Robert Newlander, the former doctor who was convicted of killing his wife, Leslie, in their DeWitt home in 2015, is now set to appear in Onondaga County Court today. So this follows a phone call with attorneys earlier this month to discuss the next steps in the case. Juror misconduct prompted an appellate court to grant Newlander a new trial last June. A man with plans to fly from Syracuse to California was not allowed on a flight after accidentally checking a bag with what appeared to be filled with explosives as well as other weapons. TSA officers found two inert blocks of plastic explosives, a knife as well as an empty magazine for a machine gun. The man told officers he grabbed the wrong bag when he was rushing to the airport. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Office says scammers are calling Central New Yorkers pretending to work for them. Investigators say that the scammer calls and they say that they are a deputy or supervisor with the Sheriff's Office then tells the person on the phone that they have a warrant for their arrest, asking them to pay up or avoid being arrested. Now, local police agencies will never ask for any money on the phone, so this is obviously a scam. Just hang up and call police directly if you feel like you've been targeted.